In this video, we are going to discuss a problem related to Laplace transform and ROC of exponentials. Observe the problem here. Find Laplace transform and ROC of e power minus 2 t u of minus t plus e power 5 t u of t. So, for this combination signal, we need to find Laplace transform as well as ROC. So, to solve this, I want to consider our basic exponential Laplace transform and ROCs. So, we know that Laplace transform of e power minus e t u of minus t. So, when you saw e power minus e t, you need to write 1 by s plus a as Laplace transform. This is the Laplace transform of e power minus e t u of minus t. But ROC for this is real of s less than minus a. So, if you equate with 0, so real of s because of this left sided signal, so you will write less than minus a. And coming to this signal, I want to take another fundamental shortcut for an exponential signal that is e power plus e a t u of t. When you saw rising exponential that means e power plus e a t, then when you are writing Laplace transform, you need to write s yes minus a. So, here s plus a when you saw minus a, s minus a when you saw plus a. So, now the ROC will be like this real of s when you equate with 0. So, real of s must be greater than a y because this is a right sided sequence. Based on this, I want to apply this two shortcuts to that combination signal. So, now our given signal is e power minus 2 t u of minus t plus e power 5 t u of t. So, now you can see if you want Laplace transform of this signal, you can find Laplace transform of e power minus 2 t u of minus t and phi t u of t individually like I am applying this formula and I am writing like 1 by s plus 2 and here I am writing so e power phi t u of t, e power phi t u of t means here I am writing 1 by s minus s minus phi. 1 by s plus 2 plus 1 by s minus 5. So, here when you are writing ROC, so ROC is real of s is 2 minus 2 here, real of s is minus 2 here. When you are writing ROC, you need to find out the real part. So, real part can be found by using denominator equivalent to 0. When you equate a denominator equal to 0, you will get real of s as minus 2. Whether that is greater than or less than that can be defined, uh, decided by the signal itself. Here you can observe the signal. This signal is purely left sided signal. For left sided signal you need to consider less than. So, ROC up to here for this signal, for this part of signal is real of S less than minus 2. For this if you equated with 0, so ROC in ROC your real part is equivalent to 5, s is equivalent to 5. So, real part of s is equivalent to 5, whether you need to consider greater than or less than decided by the signal. So, here if you observe the signal, the signal is purely right sided signal. So, for right sided signal, you will consider greater than. By combining these two ROCs, we are going to get the total ROC of the signal. This is the resultant transform of the signal. This is just resultant transform of the signal. So, here if you want, so 1 by s plus 2 minus 1 by s minus 5 you will get. So, 1 by s plus 2 minus 1 by s minus 5 or minus 1 by s plus 2 plus 1 by s minus 5 you will get. So, here real of s greater than 5 and real of s less than minus 2 means when you are taking ROC. So, here you need to indicate poles minus 2 and here you are having 5. 5 means right half of S plane, minus 2 means left half of S plane. So, now you need to draw strip lines parallel to imaginary axis. This is imaginary axis and this is real axis and totally called as S plane. The combination of real and imaginary axis is called as S plane. So, in this S plane, we need to mention the poles and we need to draw the strip lines parallel to imaginary axis and after that we need to see for the coverage region of convergence. 
So, here real of s must be less than minus 2 for this pole. Less than means, so the ROC of this part of signal will be like this. And here coming to here, real of s is greater than 5. Real of s greater than 5 means you will get like this 5, 6, 7, 8. But according to the property of ROC of Laplace transforms, the combination signal is there. The ROC is also combination of those two signals. So, here we are having combination of two signal as a signal, but the ROC must be combination of those two signals. If you see here, there is no combination ROC. This ROC covering this side and this ROC covering right side, purely right side and this covering purely left side. So, there is no common ROC, there is no common region of convergence for that spectrum. So, definitely we can say there is no ROC, no region of convergence for this type of signal. So, definitely in options they will give no ROC or there is no ROC for this resultant signal, that option we need to choose. So, by observing itself we can say without doing all this procedure, this is purely left sided sequence and that is purely right sided sequence. When that is purely left sided sequence and this is purely right sided sequence, we will not get any common ROC. In which cases we will get common ROC even though right sided and left sided means, for example, if you are having minus 5t, exponentials also in the same form exponentials also both negative or both positive exponentials then you will get common coverage even though one signal is right sided and one signal is left sided. But here in exponentials there is no common factor why because this is decaying and this is rising exponential and unit steps also there is no common factor one is left sided unit step one is right sided unit step. So, if you see any similarity either in exponential or unit step then definitely there may be some ROC in the resultant signal. Whenever we are not having any similarity either in exponential or unit step you won't get any common ROC. Definitely for that type of resultant signals we can say there is no ROC.